Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I might be a little awkward because I'm not used to talking to a camera, but today we're going to go into what's in my hospital bag for surgery. And I want to start off with um, clothes items. So you might want a robe. So when you get up and like walk for the first time, um, you can have something nice and cozy to put on. So a robe would be great. And you're going to want to make sure to bring like really large sweatpants, so comfortable sweatpants. Um, you're probably going to be bloated and, and constipated, so you just want nice comfy sweats to put on. And then you're going to want pajamas or a shirt that buttons up so you can just, so you don't have to worry about putting a shirt over top of you because it's going to really hurt to raise your arms like this. So if you have something like this, and then I'll just button up in the front so you can just put it on like a jacket. And this is like for more when you go home. Um, you're going to be in a gown for pretty much your whole stay unless you're feeling really good and you're ready to get dressed and stuff. And then I'm also bringing shorts. Sometimes you get the sweats in the hospital and you just like sweat completely through your robe and everything. So if your catheter is out and you're able to put on regular clothes and are able to use the bathroom, then you might want to just put on shorts underneath of your gown. I won't be able to shower until day five, so I'm going to bring dry shampoo. This isn't important, like you don't need to wash your hair or use dry shampoo, but I don't know. I'm just bringing it just in case, or my mom might want to use it. Um, this also is not like the most important thing. You're going to be worrying about getting better and feeling better. But if you want to brush your teeth, you know, maybe cleaning yourself will make you feel better. So, toothbrush, toothpaste. And then deodorant, you know, just typical hygiene stuff. And along with hygiene stuff, I'm due for my period, of course, you know, at the worst times. But I'm due for my period like a couple days after surgery. So just in case, I'm gonna bring feminine products. And I heard that surgery might bring on the period for girls. Um, I don't know how true that is, but it can bring it on or it can stop it. So you just might wanna be prepared. Um, for girls, you should put your hair in braids and like two braids. Usually one, it kinda is hard to sleep on, but um, putting it in two braids will keep it out of the way from your back and nurses won't have to like you know, move your hair and do stuff like that. But if you want to fix your hair, you can bring a comb. Or, like, guys, you can bring a comb. Chapstick. This is Aquaphor. You're going to have a tube down your throat the entire time during surgery, so when you wake up, your lips are probably going to be really dry. So I'd suggest any kind of chapstick. I love this brand. And this will really save your lips. Next, I'm bringing earphones. These are just like the little ones that you put in your ear so I can watch YouTube videos on my phone um, since I'm going to be in there five days so I'm probably going to get bored. For children you could bring like a handheld gaming device or do coloring books and crossword puzzles or word searches. I know I love word searches so I like download the game on my phone and do that. Most of the time you're probably going to want to be sleeping, but just in case you can't sleep and maybe need music to fall asleep, definitely suggest this. Especially if you're going to not have your own room. So if you're sharing your room with someone, that can be really difficult to, you might want something just to cancel out noise. Next is a neck pillow. I use this on my ride home from the hospital. My ride is about an hour, an hour and a half, so it can get, it's pretty difficult on the way back. Um, I'd usually just recline my chair and put this, and it feels so good, like, you need one of these. This will save your life. You're also going to want to bring socks or, like, fuzzy socks if you live in a cold area. The hospital does give you non-slip socks, so when you're out and walking, you don't slip and fall because you're, you're at a fall risk, but um, you can bring your own socks, and then I suggest bringing, like, slippers or moccasins. So when you're walking for the first time, you can just easily get around and have something to wear on your feet instead of just the socks. And of course, I'm going to bring my phone and my phone charger. And I would suggest getting a long cord phone charger 
So when you go to plug your charger in behind the hospital bed, you can have more of a reach um, to your phone, so you can just comfortably have it. I'm also taking this blanket here. It was actually gifted to me by my mother's friend, Linda. So shout out, Linda. Thank you so much. It's super soft, and you're going to want something comfortable and just something that will make you feel like you're at home. So I'm going to be bringing this blanket and also a pillow from home. So something like this. And you might also want to bring a stuffed animal. I did for the past three surgeries, and it just made me feel better. I think that's all that I'm bringing to the hospital. My mom will probably bring a lot more for herself just because we're staying five days. The only other thing I could think of maybe would be snacks that you like, but the hospital will provide you with food every day with all the meals that you want. And I'm not exactly sure what day you can eat. I think the last surgery I had last year, I was able to eat the second day. Um, and then quickly after that, I was discharged, but you won't really want to eat at all anyway because of all the meds and like you're bloated and stuff like that but um if you have a favorite snack and you know that you'll actually want to eat that then I'd maybe bring that but that's it for this video leave a comment down below if there's anything that you like to bring or that you're thinking of bringing so maybe I could add it to my list if you're watching this because you're having surgery soon I wish you the best of luck you'll be okay it's gonna suck for the first like two weeks but It'll get better each day, and if you have any questions, I can leave my email in the description box below. So go ahead and shoot me an email or leave a comment, and I'll get back to you. And if you're a parent that is watching this, I hope it made you able to be more prepared and just maybe feel more comfortable about the whole situation. So um, that's kind of what I want my channel to do. I want people to feel more comfortable and just be an outlet for people to come to and ask for advice. So I wish you all the best of luck. Bye.